welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real, with The Makeup Nurse. Today is Too Faced Tuesday, since last time I did Tarte Tuesday. And I'm going to try this new palette, the Too Faced Too Femme palette. I've been excited to use this palette. Look at those colors. Okay, what color are we going to do today? Let's do, I'll use the box. Let's do the Hearts of Flutter, the big one, as our transition shade. I can't smell it still yet, but I have told it. Well, I've seen some reviews on this, and they do say, like one person said it smelled like, like a garden, but others said it was like a sweet smell. So, I can't tell you. I apologize for that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go in with a little darker shade. Let's do this um, soft landing shade. And like kind of just put in the crease as well. To darken that up. Okay, now let's go in with this pink shade here. And this is Too Femme. Oops. That's okay. Wow. It was more pigmented than I thought. That's okay. I'll fix it up. I love Too Faced and Tarte because they have scented palettes. And if I never get my smell back, I'm going to be so sad. Because then, well, it'll save me money. <laughs> because what's the point of buying? Because the only reason I buy Too Faced and Tarte is because they are scented. I wish the drugstore had more scented products. Like I got the e.l.f. scented products, which I haven't been able to smell that yet either but covergirl i have their um scented peach palette and that smells so good and it's actually got like a little bit of a stronger scent so you can actually smell it where like some things are like so faint you can barely smell and i like the stronger scent where you can actually smell it some people might like that um so if you do then you know that's that's good for you. Now I'm going to try this, um, this uh, matte eyeshadow as a cut crease because I use, every time I use it, I end up putting everything over it because the shade isn't like, to me, an eyeshadow shade. So, especially for a cream, for a cream. So I'm going to use it as a cut crease today and see how that works. Actually, this might work really good for a cut crease. Hmm. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, so I have it above my fitted eyes. You know, I never was into makeup until about a year ago, or almost a year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. I think I gotta, I better set this down. So let's set it. Well, actually, let's not set it down. Let's go in with some setting spray. Ooh, that was a little much. And go in with this Heart On shade here. Oh, I, I wet it, but maybe this isn't very good to wet. Let me try my finger. I opened my window for the lighting and you know what, let's set this down and maybe it'll work better with this transition shade. It's just too wet. I'm bound and determined to have good cut creases, especially since I do have hooded eyes. And like every time, if I feel like every time I do a, a look, I like it. And you can see if I wide open, but then I I'm a normal like I just stay normal, and you can't see it. And if I'm going to go through all this work, I want to see my look. Okay, let's take this pink shade and Kind of blend that back in. The only thing with the cut crease that I found is that you kind of have to keep building it up and use the glitter shades or the, yeah, more of the glitter shades. Obviously, because it's probably harder to put, I don't know. Put over the cream, but but it worked. So now let's go back in with that peach pinky shade that we put over that one transition, and just kind of blend everything out. Cause I just feel like this is too pinky now. That's okay, when we put the black eyeliner on, it'll blend it. Okay, so let's be done with that. I'm gonna go finish my eyes and I'll be back. Okay, got my eyes done and now I'm gonna go on with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Another two weeks now before I get to go back home. I had a nice weekend home with my family. And I was so lazy. I didn't do anything. When I go home, I get so lazy. And my husband cooks for me and 
I just love his cooking. I'm so spoiled when I go home. Okay, I don't have a concealer, so I'll be back. Okay, my usual bronzer, the teddy bear bronzer that I use. I do like this bronzer. Okay, kind of like spoon on that in more. All right. I'm going to just go from this palette. This is the New York palette for the blush because I don't have the blush. I did go to Ulta um, when I got the that palette and I wanted the blush, um, but they were out and I need to go back to Ulta, but trying to stay away from all tokens even if i go in for like one thing i'll end up spending more money and then i get talking to okay let's do our lower lashes and let's do this pinky shade here Okay, let's kind of blend that out. Okay, okay. The only mascara I have, the Better Than Sex from them. I used to have the Damn Girl, but I used that all up. And I got two of these from when I bought the this collection and the other one since I bought the two of the collections for Christmas over Christmas. Oops. That's why these wands. When they're too big like this, I have a hard time doing my lower lashes. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with this um, fruit punch or fruit cake palette, and I am going to do above my eye. Just gonna highlight that underneath my brow bone. And then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced highlighter because I like a little pop to go in between my corner of my eye. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced lipstick 
the crazy for you shade. Mm, it's nice and creamy. And I don't really need a gloss after. Hmm. I like it. It's like a balmy lipstick. Well, this is the final look using the Too Faced products. And trying out the new Too Femme palette. Let me know what you think. I didn't like it. So, and you guys have a great Too Faced Tuesday. Bye!